Yo. Big bro. What's up, brother? How you doing? Salute, salute, salute. What's going on with you? Man, I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on the show, man. I checked yes. you out. Um, you had TV on. I checked y'all out. Yes. Yeah, man. Listen, it, it, it's crazy because TB, TB uh, spoke very, very, very highly of you. Uh, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, spoke very highly of you. And um, before we even get started, man, I, I, I want to, on behalf of myself and, and my partner, my brother, Cage Moore, and everybody on the check-in, everybody tuning in, I want to thank you. Um, this is definitely uh, an honor. It is a pleasure. And, um, you know, we want to thank you for taking the time out of your present schedule, man, to chop it up with us, man. We really appreciate you. Man, no problem, man. I'm for everybody that's trying to, um, in the podcast space. I was doing a podcast for a while. Yes. Um, my partner had some other things that came up. Yes. They kind of threw us off. So I want to get back in this space one day again, too, so. Um, I'm always glad to come on with brothers who's trying to do good pack pass. Listen, man, listen, I, I, you know, we appreciate you, but before we even get started, man, I, 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 we have to, what we have to do is we have to give you uh, a proper introduction. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We, 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 listen, man, we, we, we're talking about, uh, I think for a very long time, somebody that I think you got your just due and guys respected you when you lace them up mm -hmm. between those lines. But, you know, I think I think there's some people that might have forgot just how tough you were. So for those who may not know who we're chopping it up with tonight, we have one of Chicago's finest. We have um, an NCAA champion at University of Kentucky. We have an NBA champion with the Miami Heat. And we have, uh, you know, easily one of the toughest fours uh, one of the original stretch fours, one of the original stretch fours to play the game, Mr. Antoine Walker. <laughs> Antoine Walker, yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, thanks for, like I said, thanks for having me on the show, man. Look, looking forward to being on. Absolutely, man. One, one, one of the first things that I wanted to uh, delve into is your, just the rich history of Chicago basketball. And you mm -hmm. coming up in that in, in in that era in Chicago and what Chicago basketball meant to you and how you even got started with the Rock. Oh wow, that's that's a loaded question. But um, I mean, I started playing when I was six years old. So I mean, like any other kid, I played basketball, baseball, football, and you kind of figure it out which one you're going to be pretty good at. Baseball is my first love. Um, a lot of people don't know. My uncle um, played professional baseball for 18 years. Wow. Um, Chico Walker. So he played. Okay. So I got a – and he played for the Cubs for two years, 91 to 93. So I got a chance to go to a ton of baseball games on um, the Wrigley Field. He, he spent half his career in the majors, half in the minors. Um, so baseball was my first tr real true love. And fortunate enough, I was blessed to be tall uh, for my kid that, 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 was that was tall to be for his age and – um, when I got about 12, 13, I kind of switched gears. Um, played for Jackie Robinson West. Okay. Uh, baseball and um, played on the, all that, went on that circuit. And But I was always one of those kids that was tall for his age. So okay. you knew. So by eighth grade, I was 6'4". Eighth grade, so six, I was six, Yeah, I was 6'4 in eighth grade. So immediately it was time to start to switch gears a little bit and okay. start to, you know, take basketball more serious. And and that's what I did, man. I, I started to play basketball really serious. I chose Mount Carmel High School. I actually played baseball and basketball my freshman year. And then once it, once I realized you got to play baseball in the cold in Chicago, I was done. <laughs> I, that was, I was it. I was, that was it for me. So I stopped okay. playing then, and I focused in on basketball. And, you know, by my sophomore year, I got invited to Nike All-American Camp and started to get on the national circuit. Um, and then the AAU basketball finally picked up to that level. It wasn't as organized and as structured as it is now, but AAU basketball um, really took off. I played for Mac Irvin Fire. Mr. Irvin is, you know, obviously, I don't know if you know about Chicago basketball. Legendary. But he is the, yeah, he's the icon of uh, basketball. He's the, me and Mike, uh, his sons and his family, they're like my second family, and um, we were very close. And uh, Mr. Irvin took me on his wing and in his direction. Um, as far as my development in high school, 
as far as playing in all the, the big camps, the big AAU tournaments, he was the guy that kind of took me through that process. So um, once I got on that national circuit, man, I kind of took off, uh, played really well. My junior to my senior year, I had a great camp. And that year was kind of crazy because um, they changed the rules. The NCAA changed the rules. So you had to play with your own state. You couldn't go to camp and be on different teams. You know, usually you go to ABCD camp and Adidas camp, you play on different teams, you play right. with different guys. You had to play with your own state. Don't know what that rule was or why wow. they put that in effect. But that particular year, my junior to senior year, which is my most important year, um, I had to play with my own state. So Mr. Irvin brought down 10 of the best guys from Chicago. And the point guard ended up getting hurt the first day. Who was the point guard? And, uh, O.J. McDuffie. A lot of people okay. may not know him. He brought a guy who went to Julian High School. Okay. And he got hurt the first day. Okay. And I promise you, I remember this like like it was second nature. Mr. Irvin just took the ball and was like, here, you're my point guard. Mm. I always had guard skills, but he was like, look, you're my point guard. I was 6'8", six, 6'7", eight, six, six, at the time. He was like, and – when I tell you I dominated for, like, the first four days, I was averaging close to a triple-double. I put up big numbers. Mm. My stock just continually rose and rose after that. So I ended up becoming in the top five All-American, leaving that camp. And it was all because, if we talk about stretch fours, you said that he actually gave me a chance to be one of the first big guys outside of Magic at that time. Yes. Um, you know, Chris Webber. D.C. Juwan, they can handle, yeah, D.C., they can handle the ball. But putting it in my hands and let me be that point forward, it took me to another level as far as recruiting. And to be honest with you, that's where it really took off from. I would say that that junior year at ABCD camp, playing point guard, mm. put me on a whole nother level uh, basketball-wise. And I never looked back after that, man. You know, I went, went into my senior year, played great, uh, made the McDonald's All-American game, and then signed yes. to the University of Kentucky. And then it was history after that. Now, I, I, I wanted to ask you, <clears throat> you, 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 now you go, you know, between your junior and senior year, you go and you have a great camp. Now you're catapulted to being, you know, one of the best players in the country. You play in the McDonald's All-American game, and yep. that McDonald's All-American game, people, people may not even remember, but it was you, Felipe, Kareem Reed, Curtis Staples, uh, yes. Ray Price, uh, Willie Chris Mitchell. Harry. Chris Herring, but he yep. got hurt. Yep. Willie Mitchell. Yep. You guys, that that class, that class was stacked. What what did it mean, and how did it feel for you to be able to get to that point where you're now recognized as one of the top players in the country, and and to also be able to sign with the University of Kentucky? Oh, it was everything. I mean, the whole process was unbelievable for me, man. Um, I don't know how kids do it now, but the recruiting process was different when I came out. So you get Ten teams. I had ten teams come to my house, do home mm -hmm. visits, um, you know, from Michigan to Illinois. And you got to remember back then, a lot of people in my recruiting process, I wanted to go to Michigan. because I was going to ask that you was, that, too. I, I was, yeah, I was because gonna... you got to remember, it was Chris Webber, Jawan, that 5'5", five five yeah. was 92. I want to – don't give 92? me – I think it was 92 to – like 92, 93. Yes. Well, 91, 92, 93. And – that's what I was looking up to. Like, man, I want to be a part of that. They had the the black the black Air Max on, the baggy shorts, the baggy shorts. They had the whole swag. So Steve Fisher, those guys recruited me. I really wanted to go to Michigan. Illinois was coming out, coming off, still being very good with Kendall Gill, Kenny yes, Battle, that whole Liberty. group. Yeah, DePaul was good. I mean, I thought about going to DePaul. They had a good nucleus there with David Booth, Rod Strick, and all those guys that just left. So it was it was like so I got recruited by all those guys, but Jamal Masburn was one of my favorite players. And Coach, yeah, and he came in and coach was like, listen, he going pro. You ain't gotta worry about that. You can have his spot when you come back. I was like, wow. So when I, I wanted to play that the style of play, the pressing, the shooting the threes, it just fit my style. So I decided to go to Kentucky. And when I went to Kentucky, it was like, man, this, this is where it's at. But, but prior to that, playing that McDonald's, when you was talking about that McDonald's game and all that, it was crazy because the people, my McDonald's game was played at St. John's University. St. John's. And yes. that, yeah. And, and Felipe went to sign with St. John's. So it was the Felipe Lopez show. 
So that whole week yes. in New York, don't get me wrong, I had a great experience. Uh, but it was the Felipe of Lopez course. show. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, he talk, was the number one player in the country. About- yeah, he was the number one player in the country. Everybody was talking about Felipe. I mean, it was I mean, and just do. He was really, really good. I'm not going to take anything away from him. But everything right. was about him. So it was in New York. And um, I thought I played pretty good. I think I had 20 in the McDonald's game. Um, I think I had like 20 points and uh, played well. I don't know if we won or lost. But I think I played really well in that. But to be in that circuit, to be with those guys, because I told you my junior year, I went against those guys. And, I mean, I, 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 mean, I 